Today, I'm doing a Minecraft ball battle with my girlfriend, but we'll be using skibbity mobs. And we'll be using a potion that turns any skibbity mob realistic. Okay, Zoe, are you excited for today's skibbity mob battle? I'm so excited. Okay, Zoe, well, you have five minutes to spawn in your mobs. Best of luck. Good luck. Anyways, guys, now that we're on to the first round, I can use our super secret one-way glass to cheat and see what Zoe's spawning in. So let's go ahead and spy on her. I think for this first round, I'm going to spawn in G-Man. Wait, she's spawning in the G-Man? Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to splash some realistic potion on him and see what we get. Oh, this is going to be so cool. And oh my goodness, guys, the G-Man looks so real. Wow, this guy looks so strong. I'm going to spawn in a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, guys, Zoe is spawning in so many. This isn't good. Good. Okay, guys. Well, now that she spotted that, I need to go ahead and spot my own mob. And I'm thinking for this first round, I go ahead and spot the TV woman. And whoa, she looks so cool. Okay, now what I have to do is go ahead and splash in my realistic potion and let's see what it gets. And oh my gosh, guys, look, we have a realistic TV woman. This is so cool. Okay, well, obviously the first thing I have to do is take the spawn egg so I can spot in a few of them. And whoa, look at that. We got the TV woman spawn egg. Now I can just spot in a whole bunch of them across our whole entire place. They are a little bit small. So that kind of does concern me, but I think they're strong enough to still be able to beat all those g meds even though they're ginormous. Okay, let's go ahead and place a few more of these down. I think we're in a pretty good position right now to win. And for some reason, I'm not really sure if they like moonwalk backwards. That is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. But they're just so small. It's absolutely adorable. Okay, Zoe, my army is completely ready. Are you excited to lose this first round of the mob battle? I'm excited to win this first round. No, Sean. So you know what? If you can win, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars. How does that sound? A thousand dollars that would be awesome all right well i'm dropping the walls down let's see who wins and here we go the fighting has started dang that was crazy wait are you guys blowing up zoe what the heck did you spawn in the tv woman yes i did and man your g-man's getting completely destroyed this is kind of pathetic no way the g-man's supposed to be super strong and uh zoe it looks like he's just lost what the heck that was way too easy zoe you suck whatever dax i'm gonna win the next round we'll see about that that makes the score one to zero and it's the first of three wins wins the whole challenge good luck i'm gonna kick your butt next time we'll see about that okay guys now that we completely destroyed zoe in that first round let's go ahead and use our one-way glass and see what she's gonna do for this round okay zoe think we have to beat dax this round we need to pick a really good mob let's do the spider toilet wait the spider toilet ew this guy looks so gross uh this guy's kind of creepy maybe if i splash some realistic potion he'll look better oh gosh let's see what this turns into wait a second what in the world is that thing what the heck this isn't the spider toilet this is the missile toilet oh my gosh her potion must have got corrupted and spawned in the wrong thing that's so funny i guess i could just spawn in some more to build my army uh, i mean the missile toilet is still pretty strong so this isn't good regardless but now it's for me to do my own mob and what should i choose well i still do have the tv woman spawning so why don't i go ahead and spawn in her and i can also use the tv man but first we have to do the tv man so let's go ahead and spawn him down and whoa this guy actually looks really cool okay well now all i have to do is splash him with this realistic potion and let's see what it gives us and oh my goodness guys the realistic tv man just spawned dead this guy looks so realistic this has to be the coolest one yet Okay, now let's just go ahead and grab it and spawn it. And we can also spawn in a bunch of TV women. Here's the TV man spawn it. And let's go ahead and spawn in some of these guys. And now I can also go ahead and spawn in a bunch of the TV women. And this is going to be the coolest thing ever. And wait, why are they fighting? What the heck? Okay, they're not fighting anymore. Everything's okay. Stop trying to hurt each other. I still don't know why the TV woman moonwalks backwards. And wait, the camera. Wait, the TV man moonwalks backwards too. What in the world is wrong with them? Okay, well, that is just like the most cursed thing ever. I don't know why they just scoot backwards, but that's okay, I guess. We do have a little bit of time before the walls drop. So why not go ahead and mess with Zoe a little bit? But of course, guys, I can't go over there looking like this. So why did I do something about that? I'm going to go into my inventory and grab a potion of invisibility. So now if I splash this on myself, I'll become completely invisible. And now that I look like this, I can just walk over to Zoe's side. No problem. And oh my gosh, guys, we snuck over. But Zoe spotted so many of her people. This is so scary. My army is so powerful. Dax is so going down this round. Oh my gosh, guys, this is absolutely ridiculous okay we can't have this since she spotted a bunch of our people what if i start taking out a few of them with this thing called the mob killer so now we can just walk around and let's go ahead and start clicking on a bunch of them oh this is way too funny we're taking out zoe's whole army what the heck 
heck? Why are some of my mobs dying? Oh my gosh. Wait, she was right behind us. Hopefully she didn't see that sticker or anything. That is so weird. I guess they just died. I can always spawn in some more though. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, she's spawning in more. This isn't good. We have to do something serious right now. Okay, while Zoe's back is turned, I'm gonna go super, super hard mode and kill a bunch of them. Let's go. We have to be super fast. Okay, let's take out a few more. This is so funny. Why is there a floating mob killer? What the heck is going on? Oh my gosh, guys. Wait, she saw us. What in the world? Dad. Uh, hey, Zoe, what's going on? Why are you yelling at me? Why do you sound so close? Why do I sound so close? Zoe, I don't know what you're even talking about. That makes no sense. Well, there's a floating stick and it's killing all my mobs. A floating stick that's killing all your mobs? Well, I know nothing about that, Zoe. I don't know what to tell you. Well, this is an unfair battle. Mine are dying randomly and I think you have something to do with it. Uh, well, that's a little bit unfortunate, Zoe, and it's also not my problem. So what do you want me to say? Dad. I know you're up to something. Just give it up now. Uh, no, I'm gonna go back to spotting my mob, Zoe. Uh, I'll see you with the walls drop, okay? Okay, fine. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, well, now she thinks it's just like a floating stick or something. So I think I can take out a few more of these guys. Okay, let's go ahead and take out a few more. This is too good. Ha! I caught you, Dax. Wait, what? You can see me? I'm completely invisible. Nope, you're not. And I just saw you kill my mob. So now I automatically win the round. Wait, what? What in the world? Where did my invisibility go? Oh, no, I must have run out of it. Oh, darn. Your invisibility ran out? That's so sad. You know what's also sad? My mob's dying. Uh, I'm sorry, Zoe. I just thought it'd be a little bit funny. It's not funny. It's cheating. Okay, okay. How about I just go back to my side and we forget about this whole thing? Fine, we can forget about it if you tell me what mob you spawned in. Oh, fine, okay. I guess I have no other choice. I spawned the TV man and the TV woman. Perfect. Now I know exactly what to do. Oh, okay, whatever, Zoe. I'm gonna go back to my side now. Yeah, go to your side, Dax, and no more cheating. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe Zoe caught us and my invisibility ran out. That's so dumb. And now she knows exactly what I have on my side, and that isn't going to be good. Well, now that I know that Dax spawned in some super weak mobs, all I need to do is spawn in a whole bunch of mine. Oh my gosh, guys. She's going to spawn in a whole bunch because she knows ours aren't that strong. This isn't good. Well, I mean, I guess I could just spawn in more myself. That's really not that big of a deal. Okay, Dax, time for the walls to drop. Wait, time for the walls to drop? Zoe, it's been like two minutes. Nope, time to drop them. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Why are we dropping them so early? Because you cheated. That means I can do whatever I want this round. Oh, fine. Okay, Zoe, go ahead and drop the walls. And here we go. The route is starting, Zoe. And you have way too many people. This isn't fair. It is fair. You know what's not fair? Cheating. Okay, Zoe, whatever. You know what? You're absolutely right. I shouldn't have cheated, but I still think my guys can win this. No way. Your guys are going down. No way. Come on, guys. He got this TV man and TV woman. And oh, gosh, they're all getting destroyed. This is not good. Yep, you have like two guys left. They're about to die. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. Please, we can't lose this, Zoe. Come on, come on. One more guy left and looks like he died. What in the world, Zoe? Your army was so strong. Yep, we're pretty powerful. <sighs> okay, well, I guess that makes a score one to one, Zoe. Yay, I win. And I'm gonna win the next one and I'm gonna win the whole thing. Okay, we'll see about that, Zoe. I'll catch you in the next round. No way, good luck. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Zoe just completely destroyed us in that round. I have no idea what even happened. I mean, her guy looks so bad and she still beat me. So we have to go hard mode this round and use our one-way glass and see what she's gonna do. I think this third round, I'm gonna use the glitch toilet. Wait, the glitch toilet? Whoa, that's like one of the strongest skimmy toilets ever. Dax is so going down, especially when I splash this realistic potion on him. He's gonna be so powerful. Oh my gosh, let's see what this turns into. Oh my goodness, the glitch toilet looks so scary. What in the world? Ooh, this guy's kind of weird looking. I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch. Oh gosh, of course she's spawning in a bunch. Her army's gonna be so powerful. Last time she had a messed up mob, it was super, super strong and destroyed mine. So I have to still go hard mode. I have the perfect idea. What if I use the Titan TV man? Okay, well first I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in the Titan TV man. And whoa, look how cool this guy looks. Okay, well now of course we have to use a realistic potion and see what it turns into. So let's go ahead and splash up and let's see. And oh my goodness, guys. The TV Titan man is so big. Okay. Okay, well, since he's pretty much like a giant, I don't think I need that many, but I should go ahead and grab his spawn egg. And look at that, guys. We got the Titan TV man spawn egg. But like I said, they're super, super big. So I only need like two or three of these guys in order to win. This has to be the coolest one by far. If you agree with me, go ahead and comment Titan TV man. 
let's confuse everyone that hasn't made it this far yet. Okay, but what Zoe doesn't know this round, since she caught on to me last round, I actually have a different strategy. I secretly added in some cameras on Zoe's side so I can get a better view of all her stuff. And oh my gosh, guys, look, we can see everything on her side. Awesome. There's no way Dax can beat my glitch toilet. They're way too powerful. These guys have to be like some of the most disgusting mobs I've ever seen. I mean, just look at this guy's face. That's horrifying. But I mean, we do know what Zoe spawned in. So I guess that is pretty easy. And also, since I have those super awesome cameras, I can just go ahead and spy over there anytime I want to. And it is a little bit different than just looking through the glass. Since I can see super, super high and see everything down below. But I kind of do want to prank Zoe a little bit. And I have this one secret mod that lets me transform into any mob in the game. Let's just go ahead and click it. And I should be morphing now. Come on and whoa look at that we're the glitch toilet okay now i can just go over to zoe's side and she won't even know that it's anyone else and oh my gosh guys i made it over to zoe's side and this is perfect because i completely blended with all the other glitch toilets oh my gosh my army is gonna be so powerful and tax is gonna lose so easily <laughs> what she actually thinks we're gonna lose little does she know we're actually cheating okay well i do want to pull a few little pranks on zoe so why don't i see what i have in my inventory oh wait a second what if i go into our custom tnt category and grab something called the physics TNT. Okay, let's go ahead and place it down. And now we can light on fire. Oh gosh, what in the world is happening? I can't see anything. What's going on? What type of physics TNT is this? Everything's getting pulled in. I can't see anything. Something's happening. Wait, a bunch of her mobs are dying. Oh God, this isn't good. I think I just killed her whole army basically. Oh my goodness. It's only me and one other guy left. We just destroyed her side. This was crazy. What just happened? I only have two guys, three guys left. That physics TNT was so cool. I guess I have to just spawn in more guys, but I have to hurry. Oh gosh, she can always just spawn in more guys. That is so dumb. Okay, let's grab a different TNT. Let's see, what do I want to use for this? And ooh, lightning storm sounds kind of cool. Well, since we're using lightning and the roof is kind of covered, I think the first thing I should do is get rid of the roof. So let's just go ahead and type it a pretty simple command. And perfect, just like that, the whole roof is gone. Oh, where did the roof go? Oh gosh, Zoe noticed really quick. Okay, how about we go ahead and light this TNT? TNT as fast as we can. Come on, let's go. Oh my God, that was so much lightning. What the heck? Why was there lightning? Where did that come from? There's not a cloud in the sky. Okay, quick, let's go ahead and light another one. Hopefully she doesn't notice the TNT. And whoa, look at that one. What in the world? My army's taking so much damage. Oh guys, this is way too funny. Someone has to be up to this. Dax. Uh, hey Zoe, how's it going? Why are you calling me again in the middle of this mob battle? Because first there was this really weird explosion and now there's lightning are you up to something lightning oh um it just a bad storm came and i had lightning on my side too really yeah it was pretty destructive i had to spawn in a bunch of my mobs again well i guess it's just a storm brushing through <laughs> yeah it's really unfortunate zoe but it's whatever i guess i guess so oh my gosh guys i can't believe zoe actually fell for that that is way too funny i don't see any clouds in the sky but wait what is that? Is that a camera? Oh my gosh. Wait, she saw the camera, guys. That is a camera. And I know exactly who did this. Dax. Uh, hey, Zoe, why are you calling me again? I'm trying to spawn in my mobs over here. I just found a camera. Actually, two cameras on my side. What's going on? Two cameras on your side? Well, that's a little weird. I don't know where those came from, Zoe. I'm sure you don't. Well, Zoe, maybe one of your mobs placed it up there or something. I don't know. I don't believe you for a second, Dax, but whatever. Okay, let's just get this started. Wait, get this started. Okay, um, I'm going to head back to my side real quick, and then we can drop the walls, I guess. What do you mean your side, Dax? Uh, I meant my side as in, um, I don't know, Zoe, don't worry about it. I'm going back. What the heck? Are you cheating again? No, Zoe, I would never cheat again. Oh my gosh, guys, Zoe actually caught on. Okay, I'm quickly going to morph back into my normal self. That was way, way too close, guys. Dax, you need to hurry up and drop the walls. Oh, okay, I'm dropping the walls down, Zoe. Let's go. And here we go, Zoe. The round has started. Your Titan TV men are going down. No way. They're destroying all of your stupid glitch toilets, Zoe. This is way too easy. No way. My army's so much bigger than yours. Uh, Zoe, I think my guys are way bigger than yours. I don't know what you're talking about. Yours are bigger, but mine is a bigger army, as in more people. Uh, okay, Zoe, whatever. Dax, what are you holding in your hand? Oh, uh, that was just a bowl of ice cream, Zoe. I don't believe that for a second. Kind of looked like TNT. No, it wasn't. But Zoe, focus on the mob battle. Your guys are getting destroyed. No, how are your guys still alive? And oh, no, Zoe, it looks like you're running out of people. I think this round's gonna be mine to win. No, wait, I still have a chance. Uh, no, you don't, Zoe. I'm gonna win this. Just watch. Zoe, it looks like you only have like four guys left. This is an easy round win for me. No, 
Well, all my guys died. Well, Zoe, that makes the score two to one. So I only need to win one more round in order to win the whole thing. No way. I'm going to win the next round. Well, we'll see about that, Zoe. I'll catch you the next one. Okay, guys, the score is now two to one. And I just have to win this last round in order to win. This is going to be way too easy. So let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass. And wait, why is there obsidian on Zoe's side? That's a little weird. But let's just see what she's going to spawn in. Hmm. I don't know what to spawn in. What the heck? What is that? Is this a portal? Wait, is that actually a portal? No, wait, and wait, what? It is a portal. Look at that. It is a portal. I'm gonna go in. Wait, she's gonna go in. Okay, guys, of course we have to follow Zoe, but in order to do that, I need to be invisible. So let me go ahead and grab this cloak of invisibility. And once I put it on, I'll become completely invisible. Okay, now all I have to do is break through the glass here and go on the other side. Now quick, let's go look and see what Zoe's doing. And wait, look, there's Zoe. What's she doing? Hopefully there's something cool in this chest. Whoa, looks like there's a potion. It's called the upgrade potion. Wait, the upgrade potion? What in the world does that mean? Wait, I have an idea. Why don't I use this upgrade potion on G-Man and I'll make an upgraded G-Man. Wait, she's gonna make an upgraded G-Man? Okay, well, I guess I better go up now. Oh, wait, if she's coming back, I have to leave. Let's quickly get over our wall and oh gosh, look, there's Zoe. Let me spawn in G-Man and let me do my realistic potion and then a little bit of the upgrade potion. Oh gosh, what is this gonna do? And what in the world, guys, the upgraded G-Man looks so good wow this guy's awesome i don't think i need to spawn in that many just a few oh no that dude is gonna be so powerful i cannot believe that actually worked what in the world that was so crazy okay well since she spotted an upgraded g-man i'm gonna need like a super super strong mob wait a second what if i use the upgraded camera that's the perfect mob okay let me go ahead and put him down and whoa this guy looks so cool okay now i'm gonna go ahead and splash the realistic potion on him. please give me something super cool and wait a second what in the world why is is my titan cameraman so short i mean i guess he does look pretty cool but he is a tiny little one well either way let me go ahead and grab his spawn egg so i can spawn in a bunch whoa look at that we have the titan cameraman spawn egg and whoa zoe's things are coming through the wall what in the world they're so big okay well i'm gonna have to spawn in a bunch of guys if i even want a chance at winning this round well i think my army is pretty much good let's see where zoe is and wait where in the world is zoe and what in the world is this like a pool with the diving board i love my new diving board what in the world is she actually jumping on a diving board in the middle of a mob battle she must be so confident that she's gonna win since i have the upgraded g-man i'm just gonna keep having fun on my diving board oh my gosh this is absolutely ridiculous guys it looks like she's having way too much fun over there that was so much fun okay guys if she's having fun of course we have to ruin that how about we go ahead and get another potion of invisibility like this and perfect now we'll be in complete stealth mode and now i can just go over here without zoe even noticing and oh my my gosh, guys, we made it over perfectly. And wow, her G-Man is so much bigger when I'm closer. I'm so glad I made this pool during this mob battle. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe Zoe actually built this in the middle of a mob battle. Hey, this was so much fun. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Wait, did she say she's gonna take a nap? Wait a second, guys. She actually fell asleep. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, while she's sleeping, I'm actually gonna change out this water in here. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and get this wooden plank and just cover up every bit of the water. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go into our inventory and type in fake water. And now we can go ahead and replace this where all the actual water just was. If you don't know what fake water is, let me give you a demonstration real quick. Let's just go ahead and grab a nice, cute, innocent pig. Now if I put him in the water, he'll start to eat damage. Haha, <laughs> look at that. That was hilarious. Aw, man, I can't sleep. I'm so excited about feeding Dax. Oh, wait a second, guys. The way just woke up. Since the mob battle hasn't started, I guess I can go back to my diving board. Oh, guys, this is the perfect chance. Okay, let me line it for a jump. What the? No! What's happening? Oh my gosh. And wait, did her own mob just shoot her? What in the heck is happening? First, my mob shoots at me, and then my pool hurts me? What is going on? Let me try again, just to make sure. Wait, she's actually gonna jump in again? Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. What the heck? I'm dying! Oh my gosh, Zoe just died again. Quick, guys. Okay, let me call her real quick. Uh, hey, Zoe. Hi, Dax. Uh, it just told me that you died of poisonous water. Is everything okay over there? Um, yeah, I'm okay. I just tried to jump into my pool and it killed me. Wait, your pool? Zoe, when was the last time you cleaned the pool water? Um, never. Never. Zoe, you have to clean pool water. Otherwise, it gets infected. What? Nobody tells me this. Well, yeah, don't go jumping in that water again, Zoe. That's really not smart of you. But it was so much fun. Well, how about you just hire someone to clean the water and then you can jump in again okay do you clean pools uh no i'm not cleaning the pool for you zoe what the heck 
Well, I'm just gonna keep spawning in my mob, Zoe. I'll catch you in a little bit when the walls drop. Okay, Dax. Oh my gosh, guys. That was way too funny. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bucket of milk just so I'm not invisible anymore. Let's go ahead and drink that amp. Perfect. We're back to our normal selves. You know what? Why don't I just spawn in a few more of my Titan caravan just so I know I win this round? Okay, Zoe, I'm ready for the walls to drop. Are you ready to start this fourth round and for me to finally win the mob battle? Let's do this. I'm gonna win. We'll see about that. I'm dropping the walls. And here we go, Zoe. The round has started. Wow, you spawned in so many Titan cameramen. Yeah, but I don't really know why they're so small, but your upgraded G-Man is so cool. This is crazy. My guys are gonna win. No way, Zoe. I'm gonna win this mob battle once and for all. Just you watch. No way. My guys are super powerful. Come on, Titan camera, man. You have to win this. And how are you guys taking so much damage and not dying yet? Because they're just super strong. No, oh, come on, guys. We are not losing this, Zoe. Oh, no. My guys are all dying, Zoe. This is not looking good for me. Oh, no. Looks like you're gonna lose. Come on, guys. We have to win this, please. No, no, no. Team Zoe, win, win. Oh, Zoe, it looks like it's coming down to a 1v1. Come on. Come on, Team Zoe. You got this. Come on, Titan cameraman. And he just got destroyed. What the heck? That was pathetic. That little guy really tried to beat my guy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Zoe. Well, that makes the score two to two. And we have to go on to the final round because of this. I'm going to win. No shot. You're going down, Zoe. Okay, guys. Well, this is the final round, and I can't be losing to Zoe. So let's go ahead and use our one-way glass and see what she's going to do for this final round. I'm going to spawn in all my previous mobs. Wait, did she just say she's going to spawn in all of her previous mobs? Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Wow. All my skibbity toilets look amazing. I'm definitely going to beat Dax. Oh, no, guys. This isn't good. Okay, guys. Well, she's going to spawn in all of her mobs. I have to do the same exact thing. And luckily for me, I kept all of the spawn eggs from earlier. Let's go ahead and put our TV one it down right there and oh gosh she's on fire this is not good what okay well i might not be able to use the tv woman since she's on fire so how about i just put her back in there okay well hopefully the tv tide man is perfectly fine and perfect he is fine we'll do this one too and we'll also throw in the tv bed let's make sure to spawn in a bunch of tv bed just so my army is huge also spawn in a few tight cameramen honestly i think there's no way that zoe can beat us this round i mean just look how small our army is okay zoe well i'm ready for this final round can we just start early Let's do it. All right, let's drop the walls. And here we go. The final round has started. Wow, you spawned in so many guys. Yes, I did. I used all of my previous mobs except the TV woman because she was on fire. Oh, that stinks. You're still going to lose. Uh, Zoe, it looks like you're getting completely smacked around. You didn't even spawn in that many people. Wait, what? I thought the upgraded G-Man was going to be so strong. Uh, Zoe, well, it looks like you lost. Man, that was way too easy. You know what, Dax? I'm definitely going to win the next mob battle. Just you watch. Okay. Okay, Zoe, well, are you ready for this realistic skibbity mob battle? I'm so ready, and you're going down. Okay, whatever you say, Zoe, but you have five minutes to spawn in your mob. Best of luck. Good luck, Dad. Okay, guys, now that I'm completely muted and Zoe can't hear us, I finally get to cheat using our one-way glass. So let's go ahead and spy through it to see what Zoe's gonna do for this very first round. For this first round, I think I'm gonna spawn in the skibbity toilet. Oh, wow, Zoe just spawned the default skibbity toilet, but once she uses the realistic potion, it might get a little bit crazy. Then I'm Splash some of the realistic potion on there and see what happens. Let's see what this turns into. Oh my goodness. Look how much more realistic the toilet got. That guy has like a really weird face now. Oh, uh, that guy is super creepy. He definitely looks more realistic. He has that creepy, cheesy smile. Oh my gosh. So we got like one of the most realistic characters ever. But you know what? I think I have a pretty good idea for this first round, too. And I think for this first round, I'm going to spawn in two different skibbity characters. And the first one of those is going to be this speaker man. And yeah, this guy does not look realistic at all. I mean, just look at the whole shape of his body. And what the heck, guys? Zoe just spotted so many of those realistic toilets. Okay, we gotta get to work fast. The next one I wanna spawn in is just this cameraman. Oh, and oh my goodness. He does look super powerful, but he definitely doesn't look realistic enough to win. But just like Zoe did, I'm gonna go ahead and build us out a little oak fence so I can throw both these guys in and then splash the realistic potion on them at the very same time. Now, all I have to do is walk up to this guy and I'll just pick him up and set him inside his little pen and I'll do the same exact thing to the speaker man over here. And now that both of these guys are in their fence, I can grab our realistic potion and let's just go ahead and splash it on the both of them and see what they turn into. And oh my gosh, guys, look how cool these guys look. The realistic cameraman looks so awesome. And look how big the speaker man is. He's like 50 feet tall. You can definitely tell both of these guys are way better than the originals. But of course, now I have to go ahead and grab their spawning so I can make a huge army that can definitely defeat Zoe.
snowies. So let's go ahead and get rid of these super weak spawn eggs. And then I'll go over here and I'll grab the speaker man. And I'll also grab the cameraman. And now we could just start spawning in a huge army to destroy Zoe's. And man, this is going to be one crazy first round. I don't know whose army stronger, but you guys let me know. You can tell them at team Dax or you can comment team Zoe. And just to give my guys an extra edge, I'm also going to go into my inventory and I'm going to grab something called a mob enchant book. And let me just show you guys what this thing does. If I walk up to any one of my mobs and click on them, they'll start glowing, which means they're super, super enchanted. So I want to walk around and just click on a few more of these guys because I want there to be absolutely no chance Zoe's guys can win. Okay, Zoe. Well, my army is basically ready for this first round. And let me just tell you, you are definitely going down. No way, Dax. You're definitely going down. I've been ready for a hot minute. All right, Zoe. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go, Zoe. The first round has started. Whoa, you spawned in the cameraman and the speaker man. That's insane. Yes, I did. And it looks like you spawned in a bunch of realistic skibbity toots. And man, I don't know if my army can win because you have so many. Yeah, but some of yours are glowing. Does that mean they're super strong? Uh, Yeah, they're glowing. Uh, Yeah, it definitely means they're super strong. And I had nothing to do with them glowing. They just came in like that. Wow, you're so lucky. None of my guys came out glowing. Well, yeah, that's because you have skibbity toots. And everyone knows that the cameraman and the speaker man are infinitely better than all the stupid toilets. No way. This looks like a super close fight. I don't even know who's winning right now. Come on. This is a super close fight, but my guys have to pull this out. We can't lose to Zoe. Come on, realistic skibbity toilets. You got this. And oh no, it looks like the tide's getting turned in my favor. A bunch of your guys are going down. And wait, one of my cameramen is just standing in the corner over here doing absolutely nothing. Bro, you are so useless. Dax, be nice to him. He's trying his best. No, he's not trying his best. He's doing absolutely nothing. You know, I got to pick him up and bring him into the fight since he doesn't want to fight at all. What the heck? That's cheating. You can't interfere with the battle. Uh, no, it's not cheating at all, Zoe. I just brought him into the battle. Whatever. And it looks like you only have a few guys left. I think my realistic ones are definitely beating all your realistic toilets. No, 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 no. I have to win this match. And it looks like you only have like five guys left. Yeah, this is going to be an easy GG for me, Zoe. Nice try. Dang it, but don't you worry, Dax. I'm going to win the next one. No, you're not, Zoe. I'm going to win all three rounds in a row and be the king of the mob battle. Yeah, I don't think that's the case, but good luck. Oh my gosh, guys. We completely destroyed Zoe in that first round. I told you guys it was going to be the easiest round ever. But you know what? We definitely have to keep winning. So let's go ahead and spy through a one-way glass to see what Zoe's going to do for this next round. I can't believe I lost that first round against Dax. I'm going to have to do something super crazy this round in order to win. I think I'm going to spawn in the spider toilet. Of course, I'm going to use my realistic potion to make them look super realistic. Oh, gosh, guys. What is this one going to do? And oh, my God gosh guys look how creepy this thing looks it looks so realistic and it's so huge now whoa this guy is ginormous and his face is super creepy but i still don't know if he's gonna be powerful enough so i think i'm gonna spawn in the multi-head toilet wait what is zoe doing two mobs for this round she also has the multi-head toilet what in the world is this gonna do and i'm gonna splash some of the potion on him oh no this is gonna be crazy and oh my gosh guys it actually made a multi-head realistic spider what the heck is that uh what the heck this guy's so creepy he has like six heads i think five heads and they're all looking at me this is so scary oh my goodness guys and zoe's people look so powerful this is not looking like a good round for me at all you know what if zoe wants to spawn in two different things we obviously have to do the same exact thing but what skibbity character should i use for this round you know what i think it'd be a really good idea to start off with the tv <laughs> woman since the tv woman is like one of the strongest skibbity characters so let's go ahead and put her in the middle and then we'll splash with this realistic potion to see what this one does first and oh my goodness it looks like we got a realistic tv woman but what in the world happened to her face she looks so goofy but it's also really cool that she has those rockets on the back of her head because like in the real series her head can come off and she could just fight everyone but man what should i do for the second one Ugh, i have absolutely no idea what i'm gonna do and wait a second where did all this ugly obsidian come from did you just put that there miss realistic tv woman okay well let me go ahead and go over here and break all of this because we definitely don't need that and wait what in the world is this who built stuff underneath my base i swear and wait what there's nothing underneath here wait if there's nothing underneath there that must mean that this is a portal and usually these type of portals have really good stuff in them so i think i need to go inside so let's go ahead and hop down into the water and wait a second it looks like i fell inside of water but oh my gosh there's lava below me and wait is there some red girl over there hey uh what's your name it says skibbity girl hey skibbity girl what in the world are you defending there's a weird door behind you yeah there's a door over here but you have to complete the parkour in order to walk through it <laughs> what in the world i have to do parkour well little do you know i'm a parkour king watch this 
jump over this and I'll go to this one and I'll go to these ladders and oh my gosh this is way too easy let me go ahead and make this next jump and then it looks like I have one more jump and perfect I made it over this little platform can you let me in that door now nope I can't let you in yet wait what in the world why can't you let me in I just did the parkour you told me to do I can't let you in because in the next 10 seconds everybody has to subscribe and then I can let you in oh my gosh guys you heard her everyone has to subscribe in the next 10 seconds so go ahead come on subscribe in three two one thank you so much okay skibbity girl everyone subscribe so now you have to go ahead and open the door okay but i have to type in the super secret passcode and it's one 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 it's one 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 and oh my gosh you really opened the door that easily that was the passcode yep super secure right i guess so but you said there's something really good in this chest yep go ahead and take a look let's look inside and see and wait there's a camera head and there's also an upgrade potion what in the world am i supposed to use this for you'll just have to try it out and see okay well let me go ahead and take both of these and uh i'm gonna leave now the passcode was 1111 so i can just type that in and wait a second i also just realized i could have flown this whole time and just got over the parkour yeah you really could have done that but good luck at your mom Wait, how in the world did she know I was doing a mob battle? But whatever, I guess I'll get back to my side. Okay, well, now I'm back on my side and she gave us a weird camera head, which I don't know in the world I'm supposed to do with this. And she also gave me this other thing called an upgrade potion. So let me just go ahead and build out something I can put this camera on. And what if I splash the upgrade potion and the realistic potion on at the same time? Maybe I'll get something really, really cool. Let's go ahead and see what this does. Come on. And oh my gosh, wait a second, guys. Did that make a realistic camera win? No way. This thing looks so cool okay you guys already know i have to grab both their spawning so i can make an army that can destroy zoe's because it looks like she spawned in a lot of her realistic spiders so first i need to break these ladies out of their cage and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab both of their spawnings at the same time and spawn it all bunch of them this is gonna be the most one-sided fight i have ever seen everyone knows that the camera woman and the tv woman are like two of the strongest characters so there's no way that zoe's armies can win but just in case they do get a little bit stronger, I'm going to use this one thing called the personal shrinking device. But don't worry, it doesn't only make things small, it can also make things huge. So if I go inside of this and set the size to three like that and click on any one of my mobs, they'll get super big, which makes them extremely powerful. So let's go ahead and walk around and start clicking on a bunch of my mobs just to make sure they can take out all of Zoe's army over there. Okay, Zoe, well, I'm pretty sure my army is ready. And let me just tell you, I have the strongest female characters in all of Skibbity. What? You spawned in all of the female Skibbity? that's so awesome but i hate to break it to you my mobs are definitely gonna beat yours no way zoe i'm dropping down the walls let's do this and here we go the second round of the mob battle has officially begun whoa your mobs are always so big wait they are huge but why in the world am i losing to your stupid toilets no way we can't lose to these realistic toilets Dex, I told you your mobs are going down. No, come on, TV woman and TV camera woman. We cannot lose this. I still have a bunch left. Surely they can pull this off. Come on, come on. You've got this. These multi-head realistic spiders are definitely defeating yours. And wait, this one spider's not even getting taken out by all of my people. How in the world did you get them to be so strong, Zoe? They're just super OP. What can I tell you? Come on, we have to win this somehow. We can't lose to Zoe. And oh no, now it looks like my people are getting jumped. This is not looking good for me. Just one more to go. Come on. Oh, two more to go. Come on, keep fighting. And no, this is my last big person. We can't lose. And no, she just got taken out. What in the world? So your army was so strong. Ha, Dax. Looks like your team lost. How does it feel to be a loser? <sighs> Whatever, Zoe. That only makes us score one to one. So don't get too confident. And why are you getting so close to me? Dax, why do you smell like another girl? Uh, I smell like another girl girl because uh, I actually talked to someone to help me out with my mobs but obviously it didn't work you talk to another girl Dax are you serious uh yeah that's what I just said Zoe are you okay no I'm so upset that you talked to another girl now I'm gonna try super hard in the next round and you're definitely gonna lose wait what the heck no Zoe wait what in the world guys I can't believe we lost that last round and Zoe got super mad at us because we talked to that skibbity girl so hopefully she doesn't take it too harsh on us but let's go ahead and use this one-way glass to see what she's gonna try and do for this round I am so angry that Dax talked to another girl I think I'm gonna have to get super creative this round so he gets demolished what in the world guys zoe is so angry come on please don't spawn in anything super good i think i'm gonna spawn in a mutant skeleton and i'm gonna spawn in a parasite toilet and i'm gonna hit it with this realistic potion oh gosh guys what in the world is this gonna make and wait a second what type of realistic toilets did this make oh my gosh these are so scary whoa these guys look super deadly and a little too realistic if you ask me but of course i'm still gonna use them for 
over my army so I can destroy Dad. Oh my gosh, guys. I am not liking this. Her mobs look super, super powerful. And what the heck? She is spawning in so many of these. Okay, guys, we have to think of something super, super good in order to win this round. Okay, so I actually do have one Skibbity character that might be able to take out Zoe's army, but he is kind of wimpy in this form. We're going to go ahead and spawn in the big TV man. And yeah, like I told you guys, he does not look realistic at all. And look, he's super tiny. All of Zoe's toilets are even taller than him. And oh my goodness, these guys look so creepy. Okay, but of course, you already know we have to use a realistic potion. And hopefully it gives us something even better because this one is lame. And wait a second. What in the world did this just make? Look how realistic our big TV man got. He's like 50 feet tall. Okay, this was way, way better than the original one we had. And of course, we need to go ahead and get his spawn egg and bring them out so i can make a huge army of these guys and this is definitely gonna be one close fight because both of our people are extremely strong so let me know who you think is gonna win by commenting team tv or team toilet and just like with my previous mobs i do want to grab this enchantment book to make them even stronger so let me go ahead and start clicking on a bunch of these guys so they can start glowing and once they have these enchantments they're gonna be extra powerful and oh wait a second it looks like i enchanted myself on accident well hopefully zoe doesn't get mad about that or anything what in the world some of zoe's saws are sticking through the wall i can see them all shredding everything this has to be one of the scariest toilets i've ever seen in my life i mean just look at this guy's face that is absolutely horrifying but okay wait i gotta focus guys i gotta spot in more people you know my army's looking pretty powerful but still pretty small i think i need to make them a little bit bigger wait what in the world did zoe just say and oh my gosh look how big zoe's army got they got like 50 feet bigger how in the world did she even do that let's go my army's so big now there's no way dax is gonna win he's gonna get destroyed okay guys this is not looking good but i do have faith in the big tv bed so i think i can still definitely win this round dax i want you to drop the walls now uh zoe can i have like a couple more minutes i need to spawn in a few more different mobs please no dax you talk to another girl what i say go wait a second zoe you just dropped the walls what i wasn't even ready yet yeah dax i'm controlling the narrative now this battle's happening. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. But wait, my big TV men are super enchanted and super big. So I think I'm still going to win this round with no trouble. Did you enchant them? Uh, I enchanted them because I have a super cool enchantment book, Zoe. Don't you see? I'm glowing. Oh, did your other girlfriend give you that enchantment book? Uh, no, I got the enchantment book myself. What? She didn't give me anything except that one potion. She gave you a potion? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, she just gave me a little upgrade potion, but it's nothing crazy. Don't talk to me, Dax. Okay, whatever. And man, this is a really close fight. It looks like both of our people are really putting in a lot of work. Yes, this is pretty close, but I'm still gonna win. No way, Zoe. My guys are definitely gonna win. And wait, what? They all just started getting dropped out of nowhere. How the heck did you do that? Yep. My strategy must have worked. I knew your guys were going to go down. Oh my gosh, this is not good. And that's Zoe, this is not good. And Zoe, that makes us score two to one. So if you win one more round, I'm going to lose the entire mob battle. And you will lose another round and I'm going to win and I'm going to be the mob battle champion. No way, you're going down, Zoe. Just wait for this next round. We'll see. What in the world, guys? We got completely mopped that round, but it's okay. I still have a couple more rounds to make up the score. So let me go ahead and use our one-way glass and spy on Zoe and go super hard mode so I can beat her. I think for this round, I'm going to spawn in the buzz toilet. Wait, what? She just spawned on the buzz toilet? And whoa, that thing looks super stupid. It's missing a head. And then I'm going to go ahead and splash some of my realistic potion on it. Okay, well, the realistic potion is normal. What is that supposed to do? Then I'm also going to splash it with this great potion that I stole from Dax and from his dumb girlfriend. And I'm gonna get super powerful mobs. Wait, what? Did she take my upgrade potion? And what the heck? It is out of my inventory. Oh no, this isn't gonna be good. And wait a second. What in the world did this, this make? It made a normal bus toilet in a super upgraded one. What the heck? Whoa, these guys look super OP. There's no way Dax is gonna beat me. Now I just gotta get their spawn egg so I can build my army. I'm so excited for this round. Oh my gosh, guys. This is not looking good at all. Zoe has two super strong characters. But you know what? If Zoe's going to go super hard mode, I have to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and get people that are strong as well. For this next round, I'm going to spawn in two different Titans. And of course, I'm going to be using the Titan TV man and I'm going to be using the Titan cameraman. And we both know these are extremely strong Titans. So I think they can definitely take out Zoe's army. But first, we have to go ahead and spawn them both in. And yeah, these guys both look pretty pathetic. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully when we splash our realistic potion on it, we get something way, way better. Come on, please be super cool. And wait a second. Oh my goodness. Look how cool and realistic both of these look. We have both the Titan cameraman and the Titan TV man. And whoa, they look awesome. I honestly think these might be my favorite ones so far. And if you agree with me, go ahead and comment Team Titan. Let's confuse everyone that hasn't made it this far yet. But of course, you guys already know I have to break them out of their cage and grab both of their spawn eggs so I can spawn in a whole army of these guys. 
and wait should i spawn in a whole army or should i just let these guys fight for themselves i mean they are titans after all so i don't know if zoe's people could even take them out well just to be on the safe side i'm gonna go ahead and enchant both of them so they're really powerful but i'll let them both fight for themselves since i'm pretty sure that they can take out zoe's army on their own okay zoe well my people are ready and let me just tell you i only spawned in two skibbity characters for this round seriously only two mobs you must be crazy well we'll see about that zoe i'm about to drop down the walls and you're gonna see why i only spawned in two and here we go it looks like the fourth round has started zoe whoa both of your guys are huge and they're enchanted i don't know if this is looking too good for me yep i spawned in the realistic titan tv man and the realistic titan cameraman and they are extremely strong so i thought i only needed two of them to take out your whole army they do look pretty realistic but i still have a whole bunch of mobs left yeah but you only have a bus toilet and wait what the heck is this other one this is a really creepy toilet what did you use on it would you say that he looks upgraded to you uh yeah he looks a little bit upgraded and wait a second i did realize that my upgrade potion was missing zoe did you take it from me no i didn't take it from you i took it from your dumb girlfriend okay whatever zoe you're being a little bit crazy but wait it looks like your people aren't even doing damage so i might actually pull this round off dang it come on guys pull it together we need to be dead there is so much fighting going on but i think my guys can pull this out because they are titans after all zoe so you know they're like the strongest characters in skippy so no matter what you spawn in it doesn't make a difference no it looks like my army is depleting come on guys keep taking them out we have to win this and oh no zoe it looks like you only have a few left i told you i was gonna win this round with my giant titans this is not good i only have like four left this is so messed up come on keep beating them up guys you have three left and oh man i'm sleepy because that fight was so easy whatever dax we still have one more round to go to see who the winner is and since the score is two to two you already know this is the tiebreaker round Woohoo, tiebreaker you're going down zoe no way wow guys we actually are making like the craziest comeback ever and since the score is two to two now if i win one more round i'm gonna win the whole mob battle so let's go ahead and use our one-way glass to spy on Zoe to see what she's going to try and do for this final round so I can perfectly counter it. For this next round, I think I'm going to pull out the big guns and use the ultimate skibbity character, the G-Man. Wait, she used the G-Man and... <laughs> <laughs> look at this thing this guy looks so pathetic and you know i have to hit him with the realistic potion okay well let's see if this realistic potion does do it and wait a second what in the world that guy looks so much better and whoa he looks so realistic now wow he's so big and realistic i'm gonna upgrade him even more wait what in the world is zoe talking about i'm gonna use this shrinking device to make him huge wait what she's gonna use the shrinking device to make him huge oh my goodness guys he got so huge what in the world is zoe up to Ha, ah, this guy is so big. There's no way Dax is going to win. And I also took Dax's enchantment book so I can make him even more powerful she took my enchanted book and how in the world does she keep stealing this stuff i don't even know when she grabs it and i have to pull out that perfect counter for this if i want any chance at winning think dax what can i do that would be the perfect counter for the g-man and since everyone knows that the speaker man just turned back to being a good guy i feel like if i spawn him in he would definitely destroy the g-man and wow this guy looks absolutely pathetic what in the world is this Okay, hopefully when we splash this realistic potion, he'll get a lot better. Because with the way he looks right now, he's definitely not going to win. Let's go ahead and splash it and see what we get. And oh my god gosh look how big this guy is now and he looks so realistic and you know what since zoe only spawned in one g man i'm only gonna spawn in one speaker man since i definitely believe that he can take out zoe's mob but i need to help him out a little bit zoe did steal my enchantment book but little does she know is i can just go back here and grab another one so the first thing we're gonna do is enchant him up and wow he already looks so cool but obviously i also want to make him bigger so let's go ahead and use our shrinking device to make him taller and wow look he can see over the wall now and I have complete faith in the Titan Speakerman. I definitely think he's going to destroy the G-Man. But let me know who you think is going to win. You can comment Titan Speakerman or you can comment G-Man. Well, Zoe, I think I'm ready for this round. And just let me tell you this. My guy is going to destroy your stupid G-Man. I mean, uh, your stupid uh, skibbity mob. Yeah. Dax, how did you know I had the G-Man? Uh, I can just hear his dumb smile in the background. But don't worry about it, Zoe. Are you ready for me to drop the walls? Hear his smile? You don't make any sense. But yeah, drop the walls. See what happens. And here we go. The final round has started between the g-man and the titan speaker man whoa the titan speaker man is big but i still think my g-man's gonna demolish him well here we go we'll see about that zoe this is gonna be the craziest fight ever Insane. i'm in the middle of the mayhem come on my realistic titan speaker man can definitely take out your g-man keep fighting come on mr g-man you got this 
Yes. No way. Your G-Man's a stupid idiot, and there's no way he can compete with my guy. He's not a stupid idiot. Someone else is a stupid idiot. Wait, who in the world are you calling a stupid idiot, Zoe? I don't know. I think stupid idiots talk to other girls when they have a girlfriend. Oh my gosh, you're still really mad about that. Zoe, just focus on the fight. Whatever. Come on, G-Man, you got this. Come on, keep fighting. You can do this. Come on, come on. Just a few more hits, and I bet you can win this round. Come on, G-Man, pull through. Come on, and let's go. It looks like my real sick speaker man took out your G-Man. Whatever, and then in the next mob battle, I'm gonna get you. No way, Zoe, but nice try anyways. Whoa, Dax, the Titan speaker man looks so realistic. Yeah, Zoe, it does look super realistic, but you're gonna have five minutes to spot all of your mobs, and all the mobs you could possibly use are inside your chest. So best of luck, Zoe. Good luck, Dax. And perfect, guys. Now we're on to the very first round of our realistic mob battle. But man, I have this huge bedrock wall in the way but I kind of want to see what Zoe's going to spot in. So what if I grab myself a nice invisibility potion and just fly over to her side? Let's just go ahead and grab one of these and then I can splash it on myself and perfect. Now that I'm completely invisible, I can just fly over the wall to see what Zoe's going to do for this first round. And oh, guys, look at that. Perfect. I can see Zoe, but since I'm invisible, she can't see us. I am so excited to do this mob battle. I feel like this time is definitely going to be my turn to win. For this round, I think I'm just going to spawn in a whole bunch of speakers. Wait, did she just gonna spend a whole bunch of speakers and oh my gosh this just looks absolutely insane look they even have like a helicopter head on top wow these guys look super awesome and i wonder if they can fly since they have the helicopter top oh my gosh guys. okay this is not looking good those speakers look really powerful but i'm sure i can think of something even better let me just go into my inventory and then i can grab myself a nice bucket of milk so now i'm completely uninvisible again and now we can just look at our super secret chest to see what we're gonna have to spot in and whoa i have a whole bunch of different options and wait this one says the big tv man that actually sounds kind of cool let's just go ahead and put the spawn egg down and whoa this guy looks so cool he is a little bit on the shorter side for being the big tv man but i mean he still looks cool he has like four different heads out including the big one he has this nice tie and man he just looks so realistic this is kind of crazy and i'm pretty sure the big tv man can take out a bunch of speakers since he's supposed to be like really powerful but i should probably help him out a little bit and let me go ahead and spawn in a few of these big tv men just like this to make sure we can beat zoe's army and perfect i think i spotted in a good amount of people they should definitely be able to take out zoe's army and wait a second before i get too confident about that i should go ahead and check on zoe's army one more time okay let me just fly over this wall and oh my gosh wait zoe spawned in so many more speakers perfect i spawned in so many speakers i'm definitely gonna defeat dax what the world guys she spotted so many this is totally messed up okay maybe i can just head back to my side and spot in a few more people to make sure i can keep up with zoe's army and oh gosh guys wait she can see me dax what are you doing up here uh i'm just enjoying the view zoe and looking at everything what are you doing up here i'm looking at you because you're cheating you can't look over the wall what the heck zoe you're literally cheating too you're looking over the wall because i saw you up here when i was looking at my mobs i never even looked at your army oh uh, whatever zoe you already know what i spawned so we should probably go ahead and just drop the walls for this first round yeah we probably should since you're a dirty cheater and guys before the walls drop for this first round who do you think's gonna win you can either comment team dax or you can comment team zoe and here we go so wait, it looks like the first round has started and wait all your speakers are shooting fireballs whoa this is insane is that the tv man yes this is the big tv but how in the world did your guys even get this power this is absolutely insane this is totally crazy. What a match. Come on, big TV. And we totally have to win it. My guys are just standing here. Go fight. Stop being lazy. Sorry, Dex. Looks like your army isn't in it today. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely ridiculous. And you spot in so many. And wait, why are there even vexes here? I have no clue, but my guys are super powerful. Just accept your defeat, Dex. Come on, guys. We totally have to win this. There's no way we can lose to Zoe's speakers. And oh no, it looks like my people are taking a bunch of damage from all this fire. They're all getting taken down. This is awesome. I didn't even know my mobs could shoot fire. This is perfect. What the heck? Heck, this is quite literally not even fair. My guys can't even fight because you're going to shooting fireballs at all of them. Oh my gosh. Come on. I only have a few of them left. Keep fighting, guys. Keep fighting. Come on, speakers. We got this. No way. I have one guy left. He can totally win. Keep fighting, big TV man. Oh no. It looks like he's about to fall. He took a bunch of damage. And oh man, it looks like he got taken out, which means you actually won the first round, Zoe. Woohoo. Only a few more wins to go and then I'll be the mob battle champion. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just move on to round two. What in the world, guys? I can't believe we actually lost that first round of Zoe. Those speakers were actually really, really powerful. We're going to have to figure out something for that later. But what in the world can I even do for the second round? I kind of don't want to go over the wall again because Zoe actually caught me last time. 
second. Oh, wait a second. I have a secret chest somewhere in the back that should help me out a bit. Let's just run to our back wall over here. Let me break the grass because it should be somewhere down here. And oh, look at that. Perfect. This is a super, super secure chest. It's protected by a passcode. So if I try to go inside of it, I have to type in my super secure passcode, which is just one, two, three, four. And then it should open up perfectly. And whoa, look at that. This is called the one-way glass maker. And basically anything I click on will automatically become one-way glass. So let me just cover this up so Zoe doesn't catch on. And if I welcome to our big bedrock wall over here and click on it, it should turn into one-way glass. Let's see what it does. And oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Our whole wall just turned into one-way glass. And whoa, it looks like Zoe hasn't spawned in anything yet. This is perfect. For this round, I think I'm going to spawn in the TV woman because I love her skibbity character. Wait, she's going to spawn in the TV woman. What the heck? And whoa, the TV woman looks so cool. And wait, she's holding an axe? Whoa, her outfit is awesome. She looks so realistic. I'm gonna spawn in more. Oh my gosh, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe Zoe would actually spawn in the TV woman. What would be like the perfect counter to the TV woman since she is super strong? Oh, wait a second. I have this really cool one called the multi head TV man. And basically, this is just a normal TV man, except it has a ton of heads and is like super, super ripped. So let me just spawn him down. And oh my goodness, look how absolutely cool this thing looks. It has a whole bunch of heads and look at its muscles. This thing is jacked. And I'm pretty sure if I spawned a bunch of these, it should be able to take down the TV woman since she is pretty weak after all. Okay, let me go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these multi-head TV men across my whole side so I can have a ginormous army of them. And I wonder what else I could do to make my army even stronger. And wait a second, is Zoe riding around on a couch caught her side what the heck is this yippee this is so much fun i'm so glad i brought my couch cart and that my army is so powerful dax is so going down what the heck i can't believe she literally spun in a couch cart that is absolutely ridiculous and you know what we still have a few minutes until the wall is supposed to drop so why don't i go ahead and prank zoe real quick let me just go ahead and grab myself another invisibility potion like this and then i can just walk over to her side and perfect guys we made it over to zoe's side and whoa look at this our one-way glass actually work this side looks like bedrock wow dax is taking forever i don't even know why he tries so hard he knows he's gonna lose what the heck zoe actually thinks i'm gonna lose little does she know is i have the multi-head tv man over there he's like extremely powerful you know my army's kind of still feeling small so i think i'm gonna spawn in some more tv women Wait, she's going to spawn in more TV, but oh my gosh, guys, this is not going to all. We're definitely going to have to do something about this. And wait a second. I do have this one thing called the mob killer. So what if I just go ahead and walk up to her TV over like this and start taking out a bunch of them? She's going to be so confused when she sees her armies all small. And actually, let me go ahead and destroy this couch car too, because I hate that thing. What the heck? I think I just saw something hit my couch car and now it's gone. Oh my gosh, guys. Zoe was literally right behind us. That was way too close. Aw, man. I paid like two stacks of diamonds for that couch car. I can't believe it's gone. Oh my gosh, guys. This is way too funny. Okay, while Zoe's over there crying, let me go ahead and take out a few more of these TV ones just so her army can be super tiny and I can totally win this round. What the heck? Is that a floating stick? <gasps> Wait a second, guys. Zoe was right behind me. Let me put it away. Where did that magic stick go? It was taking out my army oh my gosh guys zoe is literally getting so bad and her army is super tiny now there's only one person that can be behind this dax uh hey zoe what's up why are you screaming right now because my army is being killed and someone took away my couch car and i think it was you wait your army's getting killed too zoe mine was getting destroyed too i don't know what's going on seriously this is so not cool someone's killing both of our armies yeah it was like a flying magic stick or something i don't know where it came from but it took out a bunch of my people yeah i saw that guy too i guess we'll have to keep an eye out yeah zoe but best of luck we don't have much time left oh no we don't have much time left i'm gonna have to change up my army wait what in the world is she talking about by changing up her army since the time is going down i guess i thought of something new i'm gonna spawn in the speaker woman wait she's spawned in the speaker woman too oh my gosh she has the tv woman and the speaker woman what in the world am i supposed to do about this and since i have both of the strongest women in skivity i'm definitely gonna win this battle oh my gosh guys okay she might actually be right her people are really strong it is the tv woman and the speaker woman after all and oh no wait i bet my visibility is running out too let me go ahead and get back to my side before zoe notices and perfect guys we made it back over to our side let me go ahead and get myself another milk bucket so i can become uninvisible in bed i need to spawn in a lot more people if i want to keep up with zoe's army let's see she spawned in like one two three four five she spawned in at least five of her characters so let me go ahead and spawn in at least six of mine okay zoe well i think i'm pretty much ready to go for 
the second round of the mob battle and you are totally going down. No way, Dex. My army is super powerful. I think you're the one that's going down. Well, we'll see about that. The walls are dropping any second. And here we go. It looks like the walls have officially dropped. And wait, all my teeny men are blowing up. What the heck? This is mayhem. Wait, but this is perfect. They're taking out all your speaker men and your TV woman. This is awesome. This is not good. My army's just being blown up. They're not even fighting. This is so perfect. Everyone is getting absolutely destroyed. I'm totally gonna win this round. Why are they even exploding? Your mobs are dying too. Only a few of them left. Blow up that person. Come on, we can totally do this. And oh no, it looks like it's only a 1v1 now. Who in the world's gonna win? The TV woman or the multi-head TV man? Come on, TV woman. You got this. Women are so much better than men. You have to show him. What the heck? That's not true. And Zoe, look, there's a cool plate over there. A cool plate? What do you mean? And up, Zoe, it looks like you actually lost. What the heck? They didn't even get near each other. How did my TV woman die? Yeah, I don't know. That was super weird. My guy launched like an ultra awesome fireball while that plane was flying over there. Are you serious? I didn't even know that they could shoot fireballs. Yeah, they're super strong, Zoe, but that's gonna make the score one to one. Fine, but the next round, I'm gonna win. And oh my goodness, guys, that round was actually way too close. I'm glad I was able to trick Zoe with that plane thing and take it out with the mob killer. That was absolutely perfect. But okay, I definitely need to win this next round too, so let's see what Zoe's gonna try and do for this one. For this round, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna spawn in the TV woman, and then I found this upgrade potion on the ground that I'm gonna use on her to see what happens. Wait, she's using an upgrade potion? What is this gonna do? And oh my goodness, wait a second. This is like an upgraded TV one. What in the world? Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. I love her headphones. What the heck? She has like a bunch of TVs on her and she has like a little rocket launcher. This thing is insane. And of course I had to get her spawn egg so I could build a whole army of these upgraded TV women. Oh my gosh, guys. She is quite literally spawning so many. This is not good. Let's go back to our chest and see what I got. And man, I still have a few spawn eggs left. And whoa, wait, this one says the Titan. TV man, I bet this one is so awesome. Let me go ahead and place this guy down right in front of us and see. And whoa, the Titan TV man looks so cool. This guy definitely looks insanely powerful. He's probably the only one that could actually stand up to this upgraded TV woman. So with me saying that, I should probably go ahead and spot it a bunch of them just to make sure they can take out all those upgraded TV women. But man, I really don't know who's gonna win. So we spotted a really, really powerful skimmity character. And you know what? I think this is enough Titan TV man. I definitely did a good job with my army. And wait a second, what in the world? is even going on on Zoe's side. Perfect. My house is complete. The inside looks amazing. And I even have this swimming pool with a diving board. What the heck? She literally has a swimming pool with a diving board? And why in the world did she build a whole house in the middle of a mob battle? I love my house so much. I'm gonna go inside and take a nap real quick. Wait, did she say she's gonna take a nap? Oh, guys, this could actually be perfect. Instead of going invisible again, I should probably morph into one of Zoe's mobs so I can walk around a bit more freely. And I should be morphing. And oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Now I'm the up upgraded TV woman. This is perfect. And now since I look like all of Zoe's characters on that side, I can just walk over with no trouble. And oh my goodness, guys, this is perfect. I made it over to Zoe's side. And now that I look like the upgraded TV woman, I can just walk around pretty freely. And whoa, wait a second. Zoe's inside of our house is chilling. What the heck is this? My room is so perfect. It's so purple. And I even have this really cool alarm clock. What the heck? She literally added an alarm clock. And man, the inside of her place does look pretty cool. Wait a sec. Why is this TV woman jumping out? outside my window. Wait a second, guys, she literally saw me jumping around. Let me just go ahead and walk away like normal. I guess she was just being nosy. No big deal. Oh my gosh, guys, that was a little bit too close, but huh, I probably want to do something to mess with Zoe a little bit. And wait a second, I can grab this thing called fake water. And basically, if I replace this with the real water, Zoe will start taking damage as soon as she tries to jump in her pool. So first, I let me just go ahead and cover up this entire pool so I can put new water in there. And now that all that's taken care of, let me go ahead and throw in the fake water. And oh gosh, wait a second, I'm taking out her TV one. Oh, no, that wasn't good at all. Wait, did I just hear some of my TV women take damage? Oh my gosh, guys. Wait, she came back outside. Let me see if I can get a better look from up here. Wait, she's going on her diving board. Wait, she might actually jump in. It doesn't look like any of my mobs died. Okay, I guess it's time to jump in the pool. Oh my gosh, and she's jumping in. And look, she's taking damage. Ow, ow, what the heck? What the heck happened? My pool was perfectly safe like two seconds ago. Oh my goodness, guys. That was so funny. Zoe literally just got taken out by the fake water. Dax. Uh, hey, Zoe, what's going on? I built a pool and I was swimming in it earlier, but now I just jumped in and it killed me. Wait, you literally died of pool water? How in the world is that possible? I don't know. Do you think that the chemicals are messed up? Huh, maybe so. Zoe, when was the last time you actually cleaned out the pool water? Um, probably never. Wait, never? Zoe, you've never cleaned out the pool? 
pool water? No, I've never cleaned it. What the heck? Zoe, the water is probably all infected because you've never cleaned it. You gotta clean it out. What the heck? They don't tell you this when you're building it. Yeah, you should probably go inside your house and see if you can find some cleaner. Dex, how did you know that I built a house? Oh, uh, I heard you placing blocks earlier and I just assumed you were building a nice cozy home. Yep, I did build a super amazing house and maybe if you're nice to me, I'll let you come over sometime. Oh, okay, Zoe, I'll definitely take you up on that. And oh, this is perfect, guys. She's going inside to go ahead and get those chemicals. I should probably do something else. Let's see. What do I have in here? And whoa, wait, I also have fake lava. Unlike water, fake lava actually heals you. So let me go ahead and get rid of all this water again. And now I can just fill this up with a bunch of fake lava. And as soon as Zoe walks out here, she's going to be super confused about what's going on. Hey, Dax, I found the chemicals. Wait a sec. My pool's lava now. Wait, Zoe, did you say your pool's lava now? Yes, it's made out of lava. And my mobs are just swimming in it. This is not good. Wait a second, Zoe. If your mobs are swimming in it, that probably means it's not dangerous. Maybe those chemicals got to your mind. And it's actually water and not lava there. The heck? I'm losing my vision too. Let me jump in. And uh, Zoe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm not taking any damage. I guess the chemicals did mess with my brain. Yeah, that is a little bit strange, Zoe. Well, it's not a huge deal. We only have like 10 seconds left before the walls drop. So I guess we should just go back to our armies. Wait. Wait, Zoe, did you say we have 10 seconds left? Yep. And oh gosh, wait a second, Zoe, you were absolutely right. The walls just dropped. Yep, I knew it was coming soon. And whoa, look at your mobs. This is awesome. Yeah, I spotted a bunch of Titan TV, man. And man, your upgraded TV would look so cool, Zoe. How in the world did you even do that? I found an upgrade potion, but... Dax, where are you? Oh, uh, I'm just watching from a little bit better of a view, Zoe. I just want to make sure I can see the whole entire battlefield. I don't understand what view could be better than actually in the battle, but okay. And man, it looks like everyone is getting absolutely jumped. Wait, your team woman can shoot bows and arrows? That is so OP. Yep, they are super cool. And they were practicing before the walls drop, so their aim is super good. Oh, gosh, guys, I'm still morphed into the upgraded team woman. I need to switch while Zoe isn't paying attention. Oh, wait, look, she just ran over there. Let me just go ahead and morph back into myself and perfect. No. I'm all back. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Dax. I found you. Yeah, and this round is going absolutely crazy. I have no idea who's even going to win this one. Honestly, it's looking like me because you don't have that many mobs left. Well, I guess we'll see about that. And oh, no, I'm seeing a lot of people starting to drop. This round could be anyone's game. Yippee. It's looking like I'm going to be the winner. No way the Titan TV man could totally pull this off. Keep fighting. And man, Zoe, there are so many arrows all the way across the battlefield. This is so insane. This is super insane. And if I'm being honest, I didn't even know that they shot arrows. Come on, guys. We totally have the winners we can't lose it oh no i'm losing a lot of my people now yes come on tv women we got this what the heck this is totally not fair and wait i only have one guy left and he's going down come on keep fighting he's putting up a great fight right now he's taking a bunch of them out and oh no it looks like he just got taken out yay i win good job tv women we deserve it oh my gosh okay the upgraded tv woman was pretty strong but i'm totally gonna destroy you round number four yeah i seriously doubt that but good luck with the dax what in the world guys Guys, Zoe's army was so strong last round. That was absolutely insane. And now if I lose one more round, I'm going to end up losing the entire mob battle. So we really need to focus up. Let's see. What is Zoe going to try and do for this fourth round? Whee! Man, that diving board never gets old. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do this round. Ooh, I'm going to spawn in the acidic toilet. Wait, did she just say she's going to spawn in the acidic toilet? What the heck is that? Oh my goodness. Guys, wait, she actually spawned the acidic toilet. This thing looks so creepy. Whoa, this thing looks nasty. I hope it scares Dax's army off. I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them. What in the world? Zoe is spawning in so many acidic toilets. Okay, guys, this is already not looking too good for me. What in the world should I even do? Oh, this is the perfect idea. What if I spotted the Tide Speaker Man? He's like one of the strongest skimming characters, and he can totally take out all those stupid acidic toilets. Let's go ahead and put one of them down, and oh my goodness, the Tide Speaker Man looks so cool, and whoa, wait, he is freaking out right now. Okay, he kind of moves around a little bit weird, but you know what? He's strong, so he can do whatever he wants to do, honestly. And I should probably go ahead and spot in a bunch of them just to make sure they can completely crush Zoe's acidic toilets over there. Who do you guys think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team Acidic or you can comment Team Speaker Man. And also to help out my Titan Speaker Man, I'm going to go ahead and spot in a few of these big TV men just so our army is absolutely complete. Okay, only a few left to put down and man, this is looking like the most perfect round ever. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is already ready to go for this next round. Can we just drop the walls a bit early? Yep, Dax, I'm ready to go. And here we go. It looks like the walls have officially dropped and whoa you spotted acidic toilets yep aren't they super creepy they are really creepy but man it looks like they don't want to fight at all yeah your army isn't even moving what's going on uh zoe i was talking about your army 
army. Your army isn't moving at all. I don't know. It seems like your guys are just staying back here. Zoe, you literally have no idea what you're talking about. You're acidic to us all getting crushed over here. Oh, no. This isn't looking good for me. I feel like I only have like 10 left. Yeah, the tight speaker rate is just way too strong. And I also spotted some of the big team event from earlier, just as a bit of overkill. Wow, that is overkill. Okay, there's only two of these acidic toilets left. Come on, Titans, beat them up. Come on, take out the last few of them. And perfect, Zoe. It looks like your army just got eliminated. Dang it. I really thought I was going to win that round. Well, Zoe, now the score is two to two. So whoever wins this next round is the ultimate mob battle champion. Wow, a tiebreaker round. I love tiebreakers and I'm going to win. And perfect, guys. We completely crushed Zoe in the fourth round, which means we only have one round left to win this whole mob battle. So speaking of one round left, we should probably spy through our glasses to see what Zoe's going to try and pull off for this last round. I think I'm going to have to pull out the big guns for this round. So I'm going to spawn in the G-Man. Wait, did she literally just spawn in the G-Man? Oh my gosh, this guy looks so cool. Wow, he is huge, but his face is super weird looking. I don't even want to look at him for too long. Yeah, his face is a little bit weird looking. This guy is totally creepy, but man, he's like one of the strongest characters on the Skibbity side. What the heck should I even do? And wait a second, I just thought of a really good idea. So last round, we went ahead and used the Titan Speaker Man. And we all know the Titan Speaker Man is extremely strong, but what if I try to make one thing better? Okay, so the first thing I'm about to do is type in this command right here. And oh my gosh, guys, look at that. I was able to make a combining machine. And basically, I want to combine this Titan Speaker Man with a cup of different female blocks so I can get a Titan Speaker Woman. So let me just go ahead and grab a few different pink blocks like this. And on one side of our combining machine, I'm going to go ahead and put these pink blocks down. And now on the other side, I'm going to spawn in the Titan Speaker Man. And as soon as I flick that lever, they should combine to be one thing. Okay, let me just go ahead and flick this lever and let's see what it does. And oh my goodness, guys. Wait, I think it actually worked. This looks like the Titan Speaker Woman. Okay, let me go inside and grab her spawning so I can see it outside of this combining machine. And here we go. I'll just spawn it out here. And oh my gosh, the Titan Speaker Woman looks absolutely insane. She looks way stronger than the normal Titan Speaker Man. And I'm sure if I spotted a bunch of them, they could completely crush Zoe's G-Man over there since they are a Titan Speaker Man after all. Okay, let me go ahead and put a few more of these down. And this is going to be the craziest round ever. And who do you guys think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team G-Man or Team Titan Speaker Woman. Okay, so well, my army is basically ready to go for this final round. Are you ready to lose this realistic battle once and for all? Dax, I'm going to win this mob battle, believe it or not. Well, we'll see about that. I'm dropping the walls. And here we go. It looks like the round has officially started. Whoa, this is crazy. We both spawned in so many mobs. Yep, and I spawned in the Titan Speaker Room, which is like one of the strongest characters. Your G-Man stand no chance. I don't know, Dax. The G-Man is super powerful, but I do like the Titan Speaker Woman. Yeah, the G-Man is pretty powerful, but look at this. He's just getting completely surrounded in a sea of Titan Speaker Woman. Oh no, the G-Man's going down super fast. Oh, this is the easiest round ever. Come on, Titan Speaker Woman. Keep taking out the rest of them. No, come on, G-Man. You're supposed to be powerful. What's going on? And wait, I think there's only one of them left. And whoa, he's getting jumped inside the house. Come on, take him out. This is not good. Fly away, G-Man. Fly away. What? The G-Man can quite literally not fly whenever the Titan Speaker Woman's nearby. He stands no chance. And boom, it looks like he just got taken out, Zoe. Dang it. I can't believe I lost that time. Yep. And that officially makes me the mob battle champion for this realistic skibbity battle. What the heck? I was so close to winning this time. I'm definitely going to win the next realistic battle. Hey, Zoe, what are you excited for today's realistic skibbity mob battle? And wait, Zoe, why are you like 25 feet tall? I am so excited. And I don't really know why I'm so tall. Maybe I just grew. Uh, okay. Whatever, Zoe. Well, you're going to have a total of five minutes of spawning your realistic mob. So best of luck, Zoe. Good luck, Dax. Wait, did he just go through a door? Okay, guys, and now we're on to the very first round of our mob battle. But as you can see, we have a little bit of problem because we have this huge bedrock wall here, which means I have no idea what Zoe's going to be doing. And of course, the only way I can win is if I cheat. So luckily, I actually set up something a bit earlier. If I walk over to the floor, simmer right about here, there should be a secret trap door. And oh, look, there it goes. For this, I'm gonna need to go over to Zoe's side. So let me go ahead and grab myself an invisibility potion just so she can't see me when I end up going over there. Now let's go ahead and jump down our little ladder right here and we can walk underneath the arena and let's open up this secret trap door right here and I'll make sure to close it up behind me. Was that a trap door sound? Oh, wait a second, guys, Zoe might have heard it but it's okay i'm completely invisible and she'll have no idea that there's a trap door there uh, what 
whatever. Let's just get started. I think for this first round, I'm going to spawn in the Toilet Man. Wait, she's going to spawn in the Toilet Man? Okay, that is a pretty strong skimmy character. And oh my gosh, just look at this thing. This guy is super, super huge. He looks really strong. And then, of course, I'm going to splash some of this realistic potion on him. Oh man, let's see what this ends up turning into. And oh my goodness. Wait a second. What in the world did this thing just make? Whoa, this guy is super crazy. How did he get so big? What in the world? He is like 50,000 feet tall. This guy looks super, super scary. And now I got to get his spawn egg so I can spawn in a whole bunch of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, Zoe is about to spawn in a whole bunch of them. So I should probably go ahead and head back to my side. But wait, oh gosh, where in the world is my trap door? And I don't even can't even find it anywhere. It's just like hidden. Come on, it has to be somewhere. And oh, look, perfect. I found it. Let's go ahead and close it up. And then we can just run back to our side. Let's drink ourselves a bucket of milk. And now I'm completely uninvisible. But oh my gosh, we can even see Zoe's toilet bed sticking through the wall because they're so ginormous. This is not looking too good for me. Well, what skibbity mob should I even try to do for this first round to perfectly counter Zoe's people? I think the first thing we're going to need to do is build ourselves out a little fence so I can spawn our mobs inside and then splash it with a realistic potion. I think for this first round, we're going to be spawning in the speaker man. And we're also going to be spawning in the camera plunger so let's go ahead and put both of these guys inside of this little fence and man these guys do not look realistic at all but hopefully after we're done and we splash this realistic poster on them they end up looking super super cool so let's go ahead and see what this ends up doing and wait a second what in the world these guys just got way more realistic look how tall this speaker man is he's like the same height as zoe's mob which means i might have made the perfect counter to those toilet men over there but then we also have this super cool camera right here and look at these plungers on the back of him and he has a really cool jetpack this is definitely gonna be like the perfect combination for this first round but of course i'm gonna need to break them out of this and grab each one of their spawn eggs so i can spawn in a whole bunch of them to completely destroy zoe's army and actually i have one more trick up my sleeve somewhere over here i should have a hidden trap door and let's see where is it and oh, look at that there it goes and there's a chest inside and inside of this chest i actually have a super super cool device which is called the size changer and basically this allows me to change the height of any mob that i want to for example if i just walk up to one of my cameramen over here and click on him he'll become two times the height which means he's going to be two times as powerful and of course if i go ahead and do this to all of my cameramen they're going to be super super overpowered and completely destroy zoe in this round but i can't underestimate zoe's army she does have a lot of really strong people over there so who do you guys think is going to win this first round you can either comment team dax or you can comment team zoe okay zoe well i think i'm pretty much ready to go for this first round in this realistic skibbity mob battle are you excited for the walls to drop i'm so excited you are so going down we'll see about that i'm dropping the walls and here we go it looks like the first round has a officially started whoa what did you even spawn in camera ninja toilets yep this is the camera ninja toilet and i also spawned in the speaker man and it looks like you made a version of the speaker man as well yep i did the realistic toilet man isn't he looking super strong honestly he does look super strong and pretty cool but i think my army can take them out but man this is a whole dog fight i can't even tell who's winning right now yeah i think i'm winning Come on, guys. We cannot lose to Zoe. Keep fighting. Come on, Toilet Man. You got this. Oh, no. It looks like a lot of people are dropping now, Zoe. I might win this first round. No way. My guys were super duper strong. It seems like your guys are dropping. Wait. No way. I'm losing this round. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. I still have so many mobs left. I don't even think you spawned in that many. I did spawn in a bunch. Come on, Camera Ninja. And wait. What? My Camera Ninja went down, too. It. What? No way. You just won that round. How is that even possible? Sorry, Dax. It looks like your guys just weren't strong enough and what's in your hand oh uh nothing zoe that's just my new ipad um okay super cool let's go to the next round guys what in the world i can't believe zoe actually beat us in that first round her army was just way too strong for our people but it's okay i need to focus up and i can definitely win the second round well let's go ahead and spawn in something really really good and wait what in the world is that thing and wait that kind of looks like a skibbity toilet uh, why in the world is there a skibbly toilet right outside the arena? Uh, I don't know, but maybe I should go check it out. Zoe's probably doing a whole lot of nothing over there. So I think if I just sneak out for a second, she won't even notice. Let me just fill this back up so there's no evidence. And then we can walk over to this huge skibbity toilet. Hopefully there's something good in here. And wait a second. What in the world is this? There's like a bunch of lava down there. And wait, there's even a little piece of obsidian. Why is there obsidian up there? 
Well, I mean, I guess I can just fly over there, no problem, right? And, uh, wait a second. Did it just put me in survival mode? What the heck is that? Okay, well, now I can't even fly over there anymore. Well, I kind of do want to see what that little obsidian place over there. So I guess we have to do a bit of parkour. And oh my gosh, I am actually really, really bad at parkour. So this is a little bit scary, but come on. I'm sure I can make it. And wait, are these ladder parkour parts? Oh no, this isn't good. Okay, come on. I can do this. Let me just jump in. Whoa, that was way too close. Okay, just a few more jumps. And I think I'm almost to that portal and perfect. Look at that. It, whoa, wait, it is a portal. Well, let's just go ahead and jump inside and see what's down there. And whoa, once I got down here, it actually put me back into creative mode. So I guess I definitely had to be in survival in case I messed up. And wait, what in the world is this? This looks to be some sort of chest, huh? I wonder what's inside. And uh, wait a second, what in the world are these? There's a couple spawn eggs and wait, one says the camera woman. What is this other one? The TV woman? Well, maybe these are like two really strong, realistic characters that I can use, but wait, there was one more thing inside of there. Let's go ahead and see what this thing is in one-way glass converter. Uh, I've never heard of anything like this before, but I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. I think one-way glass is that stuff that makes it so you can see through, but the other person has no idea. So so maybe if I walk up to our big wall and click on it, it'll turn into one-way glass. Okay, since I can fly now, let's go ahead and head back through this little portal here, and then I can just run back to the little base. And the first thing I guess we can do is look at our two different spot eggs. The first one is the TV woman, and whoa, she honestly does look pretty realistic. That's kind of cool. But hopefully the camera woman is a little bit better, since I do like the camera woman more, and whoa, look at the camera woman. She is ultra realistic. This is actually pretty cool. Okay, well, let me start talking about these two guys. Let me go ahead and try this one-way glass converter and see if we can get the wall to work. All I have to do is walk up to it right here, and right click and wait a second guys it just turned into one-way glass and now i can see everything on zoe's side and what the heck she's modded like a multi-head spider twin this is so creepy and wait look there's zoe right there Ugh, i feel like this has been taking forever there's no way that Dax isn't done yet. Wait, Zoe says it feels like I've been taking forever. Um, I really haven't been gone that long. Or wait, maybe I have been gone that long. I don't really remember. But her army does look really strong. So I think I'm gonna have to spawn in a lot more right, people if I want any chance at winning this round. So let me start by spawning in a huge legion of camera women since I think they are way stronger than the TV woman. And then in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these TV women. And of course, you already know I have to go get that size changer from earlier. And then I can just click on a few of them to make them really, really big. Okay, Zoe, well, my army is ready to go. Are you ready for this second round? Ugh, finally, Dax. It took you long enough. Uh, what do you mean, Zoe? I've literally been ready for like an hour. You're the slow one. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. Whatever. Let's just drop the wall so I can beat you. And here we go. It looks like the next round has officially started. Whoa, this is crazy. And what's going on behind here? Uh, nothing, Zoe. That's just a skippity toilet. But man, it looks like your multi-head spider toys are getting completely crushed. This is such an easy round. No, this is not good. I only have a few left. And uh, I think your last multi-head spider just got taken out, Zoe. Man, your army really sucked this round. Dang, that was the quickest L I've ever taken. We better move on to the next round because I'm definitely going to win. I really doubt that, but the score is only one to one. So you still have a few chances to win. And perfect, guys. We completely destroyed Zoe in that second round, but we have to keep the winning streak. So let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass to see what Zoe's doing. And wait, why is she putting a little fence? Okay, now that my fence is done, I'm going to spawn in the G-Man and the Buzz Toy and then hit him with my potion. Wait, what in the world is this gonna make? And oh my goodness, wait a second. It just made like an ultra realistic version of the both of them. They look so strong. Whoa, these look super OP. So much cooler than the original Buzz Toilet and G-Man. And now that I have the spawn egg, I can spawn in a whole bunch of them. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. So he has a really, really strong army over there. What in the world am I even gonna do? Okay, come on. I can think of something really good. Let me go ahead and fix out my fence so I can spawn in something. And you know what? I actually have a really, really good idea. What if I spawn in both the big TV man and also the Titan TV man and then splash them with a realistic potion to see who we can get? Okay, first up, let's go ahead and put the Titan TV man down. And oh my gosh, this guy is so small. What the heck? Okay, let me go ahead and use my size changer. And then if I make him like three times the height, maybe he'll be a little bit bigger when we use the potion. But next up, we have to do the big TV man. And what the heck? This is the big TV man he's like two inches tall okay we'll also go ahead and use a size changer on because i want them to be really really big when we use the realistic potion so let's go ahead and see what this ends up making and oh my goodness wait a second i think it actually worked look how realistic both of them look they are so much more detailed now and they're gonna be so much stronger than those stupid little ones we spawned in but okay i gotta get really really serious let me go ahead and break out this fence and then i can grab both of their spawning so i can make a huge army with the both of them
And everyone knows that the Titan TV man's like one of the strongest Alliance characters. So I think you can wipe Zoe's army, especially after I spotted a bunch of them. But we do need to keep in mind that she has the G-Man over there. And the G-Man is really, really strong. So we cannot underestimate him. And actually, let me go back to my little secret chest because I think there's something else in there now. And let's see it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. We have a super cool mob enchantment book. Basically, whatever mob I click on, they'll start to glow, which means they're super, super enchanted. Just like this big TV man right here. And if I go around and click on a bunch of these guys, they're gonna become super, super overpowered because they're all enchanted and shiny. Let me just go ahead and click on a few more and then i think i'm pretty much ready to go for this next round but wait a second i do have one little cheat up my sleeve let me go ahead and make all of zoe's army super super small basically if i just type in this command right here her whole g-man army will get super small and oh my gosh look they're so small and cute now what the heck why is my army so small oh this is so funny you know what guys i should probably make them even smaller let's do like 0.25 and oh my gosh i can barely see them now they're like little munchkins this is not cool at all what's going on with my g-men oh this is the perfect chance let me see if zoe's ready for the wall to drop hey zoe my army's basically done can we just start this round already uh no dax can i have another minute my army just got super small uh no you can have like five more seconds how about that uh okay i'll take five seconds up oh, well it looks like your five seconds are up zoe the round has started what the heck my mobs are super small and your mobs are super big this is not fair wait what do you mean this is not fair all my people are getting taken out how is this even possible dang just because they're big doesn't mean they're strong this is awesome i won what the heck you're little stupid g-men were just too strong how does that even make any sense they're like half my height hey dax there's no need to call someone stupid oh my gosh you know what i'm gonna take this g-men for myself and just throw them off the map maybe you should take notes because obviously i chose a winning mob okay you know what zoe the next round you're totally gonna get crushed stop being all confident you're about to go down okay whatever you say dax guys what in the world i can't believe zoe actually beat us in that round her army was just a little bit too strong for us but i think i can blow up this next round let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass and see what Zoe's gonna try and do. For this round, I think I'm gonna spawn in the parasite toilet. Wait, she's gonna spawn in the parasite toilet? And oh my gosh, this guy is so ugly. Look at his little dumb face. Then you already know I'm gonna splash some of this realistic potion on him. Oh gosh, let's see what this does. And what in the world does this just make? Look at this realistic parasite toilet. This guy is so creepy. Whoa, this guy looks super cool. He's definitely gonna scare Dax. I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them so he gets super creeped out. Okay, guys, this is not looking good for me. Zoe has a bunch of parasite toilets, and I don't even know what I'm gonna do for this round. I think there's only one skibbity mob that could actually counter Zoe's army. What if I spawn in the Titan Speaker, man? And what the heck is this thing? This has to be the most unrealistic Titan Speaker run I have ever seen in my life. This thing looks super, super ugly. Okay, well, hopefully whenever I use this realistic potion, it'll get a lot, lot better. But let me actually go ahead and make it size bigger. That way, when it actually transforms, it'll be super huge. Let's see what this potion ends up doing. And wait a second. I think it actually worked. Oh my gosh. This guy looked so much better. That other one was just pathetic. And you know what? Since it is the Tide Speaker Man and he's super overpowered, I only think I need one guy in order to take out all of Zoe's parasites. But I am going to make him a little bit better by using this mob enchantment book. That way he's super glowy and overpowered. And actually, speaking of Zoe's army over there, I think we still have a little bit of time left. So what if I prank her? Well, the first thing I need to do is get this invisibility potion and then I'll just splash it on myself. And then I can go back to where my little trap door was earlier. And there it is. Perfect. Let's just head over to Zoe's side. Okay, and perfect. I have to head up this trap door right here. And oh my gosh, guys, we're on Zoe's side. And wow, she has a lot of parasite to us. I kind of feel creeped out being on her side. Perfect. Perfect. My army's looking super strong and super scary. I'm finally gonna win the mob battle. Okay, guys, she does have a lot of people, so I think if she does keep this up, she actually might win this mob battle, so I'm gonna have to do something really, really bad. Let's go in my inventory and see what type of dynamites I have. I think I have a couple really, really powerful ones in Oh, wait a second. I should try out this physics dynamite. Let me just go ahead and throw it at the floor around Zoe. And boom, look at all of that. Whoa, there's so much destruction. Whoa, what happened? Did a bomb go off? Oh my gosh. Zoe really thinks it was a bomb. No, Zoe. It was just me throwing physics dynamite. And look how big of a hole there is now. This is really funny. I have to repair the hole before my mobs fall through. Wait, she's trying to repair the hole. Okay, what if I go ahead and throw another one right there in the middle? And boom. What the heck? 
heck? What keeps happening? Guys, this is way too funny. Zoe is going to get so angry. I bet we can take out like her whole army with this. I know there's only one person that can be behind this. Dax! Uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? Why are you screaming right now? You just like busted my eardrums. I don't know. Do you want to take a guess why I'm screaming? Uh, I don't know, Zoe. Why are you screaming? Because there's explosions happening on my side, and it's completely sabotaging me from winning the mob battle. Uh, I don't know anything about that, Zoe. That's a little bit weird. And oh my gosh, guys, wait a second. The one-way glass broke. Let me just go ahead and fix this before she sees it. And oh my gosh, I think we made it out okay. Did I just hear a block break over here? <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, wait, Zoe was right behind me. Why is there a dirt block right here? It looks like somebody broke a block right above it. Oh my gosh, guys, that was way too close. Zoe almost caught us. You know what? Maybe I should change my form real quick. I actually have this one mod that lets me transform to anything I want to. And I think I'm going to transform into Zoe's parasite toilet. And perfect, here we go. And oh gosh, hopefully she doesn't see us. But perfect, we are now the parasite toilet. And I'm all on Zoe's side. And now I can just do whatever I want since I blend in with everything. And it does look like Zoe's actually putting in a lot of work to fix this hole. So, hmm, what if I just go ahead and break a bunch of it? What the heck? Why is this breaking? Oh my gosh, guys, she is so bad right now. This is like the funniest thing ever. You know what? Let me stop messing with zoe directly and how about i use this mob killer to take out a whole bunch of her army and make them super super weak when she's done filling in that hole she's gonna be super mad that all her mobs are disappearing and, oh wait a second she was right there guys what the heck hey i saw you kill some of my mobs oh wait let me change my voice real quick uh what are you talking about i just saw you kill some of my mobs do you have anything to say for yourself oh no that wasn't me uh that was tim he's right here tim get over here wait oh my gosh wait she just took him out and wait why is she coming back to me thank you so much for telling me about tim I always knew he was kind of shady. Uh, yeah, of course. You're completely welcome, Zoe. But you should know if I see you kill anyone, I will kill you. Uh, no, nope. I won't do any of that. I'm a totally dedicated soldier. Yeah, I'll keep my eye on you. Guys, what the heck? Zoe is going completely crazy. And why in the world is she following me right now? Okay, this is a little bit weird. And I have to find some way to get out of here before she gets too suspicious. So what if I just walk into the middle of this whole group over here and I splash this invisibility potion and now everything's invisible? What the heck? Did a bunch of my people just disappear? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, now that everything's completely invisible, I can just sneak back over the wall like this, and then I should be good to go back to my side. And wait, why are there a bunch of Zoe's mobs on my side? We do not want any of you guys over here. Let me take all these guys out. And now all I need to do is just transform back into my normal self, and then I think I'm pretty much good for this round to start. But who do you guys think is going to win this next round? You can either comment Team Speakerman, or you can comment Team Parasite. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is basically ready to go. Can we just drop the walls in this fourth round? Yes, let's do this thing. And here we go. The walls have a officially dropped and man you have a bunch of parasite toilets i know and you only spawned in one guy uh zoe do you know who this one guy is no not really what the heck this is the tight speaker man who's like the strongest character he can totally take all your weak parasites he looks super lame what do you mean he looks super lame he's all glowy and he has a bunch of fire on him and he looks really strong yeah i'm not getting strong from this one well just wait he's about to crush your entire army all by himself i seriously doubt that i have so many more mobs than you. Come on, Titan Speaker, man. You have to win this. If I lose this round, it means I lose the entire mob battle to Zoe. Parasite Toilets, you got this. There's not that many of them left. And wait, a bunch of them aren't even fighting. What the heck is this, Zoe? Your army is so lame. It's because they don't need to fight. They know that they're going to win. <gasps> and wait a second, guys. I actually just sold a one-way glass piece over here. Let me just go ahead and break this so Zoe doesn't see it. And perfect. Dax, what did you just break? Uh, nothing. It was just a weird piece of dirt that looked like glass and it was on my side. You are always acting so suspicious during these mob battles. Zoe, why don't you just worry about your army? Because it looks like my tight speaker man's going to work. Yeah, going to work because he's trying so hard to beat me. Come on, you can totally win this. Keep fighting. There isn't that many parasites left. Oh, and wait, a bunch of them are taking damage. What in the world is going on? Zoe, I think you actually might end up losing this one. No, this is not looking good. Oh, there's only like three left. Two left. Come on. And perfect. It looks like the tight speaker man actually won. How does it feel to take a huge L, Zoe? Doesn't feel great if I'm being honest. Well, that means this score is now two to two so we're gonna have to move on to one final round to see who the real mob battle champion is and it's gonna be me and perfect guys since we won that last round it means we only have one round left in order with this whole entire mob battle so let's really focus up and see what zoe's gonna try and pull off for this final round for this final round i need to do something super creative so i think i'm gonna spawn in a toilet and the space device and I'm hoping if I splash this realistic potion on both of them, 
that it'll end up giving me like a space toilet. Wait, guys, there's no way something like this will actually work, right? It, wait a second. What? Did it actually work? What in the world is this thing? Yay, it worked. It worked. Now I just got to get his spawn egg and I'm going to build an army of these astronaut toilets. Okay, this guy does look really cool. I can't even lie, but I can't believe Zoe's little thing worked. That is so crazy. Well, okay, let me focus up. I gotta get something really, really good for this round. And let's see, what have I not used yet? Wait a second, I haven't used a Titan cameraman yet. What if I go ahead and spawn this guy in and then I splash him with the realistic potion to get something really cool? And what the heck, why is this guy so short? This guy is literally like the same height as me, but okay, I guess it's fine as long as I use this size changer on him and then splash him with the realistic potion. This should be really cool. And wait a second, oh, Oh my goodness, this made like the most realistic Titan cameraman ever. This guy looks so cool. And you know what? I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of people this round just so we can take out Zoe's army really fast. So let me go ahead and select this guy's spawn egg and then I can break him out of his cage and just spawn in a whole bunch of Titan cameramen. And who do you guys think is going to win this crazy final round? You can either comment team cameraman or team UFO. Okay, Zoe, I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this final round. And let me just tell you, you're about to get completely destroyed. Yeah, I seriously doubt that, but I do think you're going to get surprised by the mobs that I created. Well, let's see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. The final round has started. Oh my gosh. There is so much fighting right now. Whoa, you spawned in so many guys. I don't think I spawned in enough. Yeah, and you guys are super, super tiny. So how in the world do you even think you're going to pull this round out, Zoe? They're super tiny, but they're super strong. We'll see about that. I have way too many tiny cameramen. I don't even think you stand a chance. You never know, Dax. I could pull through. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. Oh no, no. I'm seeing a bunch of people start dropping. We cannot lose this round. Yikes, Dax. It doesn't look good for you. Come on. I think my tight cameraman can pull this out. Keep fighting, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Astronaut toilets. We got this. I think the final part of the fight is starting. Come on. Tight cameraman. Take out the last bit of Zoe's army. No. My astronaut toilets are diminishing. There's only a few of them left. I think I'm actually going to win this. No way. I thought I was going to win. And perfect. It looks like I ended up winning, Zoe. Ha. Your army sucked. I don't want to talk about it. I really thought I was going to win that round. Well, Zoe, maybe you can get some better mobs and maybe you can end up winning the next mob battle. I'm definitely going to win the next time, Dax. You just wait and see. And if you guys enjoyed that video and want to watch more Dax and Zoe, make sure to click one of the videos on screen. Bye, guys.